Tad's tips on Tuesday. Trying to determine what lie we have, how the ball is going to come out. You've heard of flyer lies, ball in the rough, what the ball is going to do. So I got two shots here. Two different lies, both in the rough, but both are going to come out a little different. The first ball is sitting down in the rough. When I go to hit it, if I had to hit it 160 yards and I was going to hit a 7 iron with the ball sitting down, I'm probably going to hit a 6 iron. The ball's not going to go up as far in the air, but it's going to come out with top spin. It's going to roll a lot more. So when I hit this shot, I got to make sure I hold on to the golf club just a little tighter so the grass doesn't turn it. Make sure I pick my target and expect the ball to roll out. Ball rolled out, came a little lower, rolled out. The next lie, it's in the rough, but it's just got a few blades of grass behind it. This ball is called a shooter or a flyer lie. I'm going to take one less club on this shot. So if I had to hit it 160 yards and I hit a 7 iron, I'd go to an 8 iron because this ball is going to come out like a knuckleball. No spin. It's going to stay in the air. It's going to float. Not going to stop when it hits the green. Take my stance. Hit the golf ball. That golf ball comes out higher and further. That's Tad's tips on Tuesday when you're hitting the rough. When you're out practicing, drop a couple balls, experiment with it, get a feel for the rough to improve your game. This is Tad's tips on Tuesday, 639-6900.